Okay, Alex. Um, this is the second part of the uh, how to get your uh, GPX file up onto your Garmin now, so you can follow the route. So when it comes there, uh, you're going to look on your your courses or your routes, and you can see it. So what you, what, what you can see I've done here is I've got I've got two um, uh, file managers open, two explorers. So um, on the left hand side, you'll see this is a, a just a standard one. It's standard stuff, um, and underneath your computer, you can click that. And what you should see, you've got your Garmin, um, your 810 plugged in. Uh, this works out with the 800, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to be exactly the same. Plug it in, it'll come up, and there's your Garmin there, and it'll look at it in there. So, And what you should have within your Garmin files is a folder called Garmin. You click that Gar folder. Um, this is not really intuitive, because you wouldn't ex assume it's going to be in there. But And then you can go, there's a folder within the Garmin folder in your Garmin, and it's called new files so you open that up and you'll see there's nothing in there at the moment um, and you'll remember from the last um, video that what we did was we downloaded the GPX file so um, open up your downloads file on your um, in your other explorer and you can see up here um, all I just do is sort by date and it sorts them up the latest files that come in there and we've got a, a Darlington test which is the first one I did that I've not loaded but Darlington test 2 is as you'll remember that what we did now basically all I do is click on that file um, uh, and drag and drop it and drop it over into my new files within my Garmin, Garmin, uh, Garmin folder. So you can see the route up here, we've got computer, Garmin, Garmin, new files. Drop it in there and you've got a copy of that in your, um, and that's it. That's all you need to do. So when you turn on your Garmin now, you can just un disconnect it as you normally would. Um, when you turn on your Garmin, you'll have a course in there and it'll be called Darlington. You, you, it only gives you seven letters on mine. It might they might have sorted it out so you can get a bit longer now, so you'll see Darlington Test 2 or whichever you wish to call it. Um, and you'll see it up there. So when you turn your Garmin on, it'll turn your course on and it'll ask you whether you want to go to the start of the course or the end of the course. Simple as that. Okay, hopefully that sorted it. Um, and I'll um, talk to you soon. Bye.